Good afternoon, everybody. This is Gardening Warrior, and we're in the kitchen doing some meal prep for this week. I have cooked up three different types of pastas, little shells, um, the regular elbows, and then some spirals. I cooked them al dente, and now we're going to make the sauce. Okay. So, what I have here is some of my um, seasoned butter, and that's just, the, it's just the same stuff I use for my sliders. My kids just seem to like it, so. Um, that's roughly two tablespoons. It doesn't look like it, but it is. And now I'm going to put approximately... Two tablespoons of cream cheese in there. And we're just heating this up on low. We might get that kind of melted. The cream cheese was room temperature. <clears throat> I want to get that butter melted. But, you don't want to burn the butter, nor do you want to burn or scald your cream cheese. So, do it on low. Add about a half a cup of milk. Um, now, you can use half and half, or you can use cream. That'd be even better, but I don't have either of those. So, I use my um, Thrive Life milk that I made this morning. It's powdered milk, and I just, you know, added water to make a gallon, because I knew I was going to need some milk. Now, that's pretty much melted in there. Now we're going to add approximately one cup, maybe a cup and a half of shredded cheese of your choosing. I just so happen to have Colby Jack. Now you're just going to let that melt. To most of the cheese is good and, you know, melty. Um, if you want to put the powder packets in there, I would only at this time put one powder packet, which is what I'm about to do. And I'm going to use the thick and creamy, um, the packet from the thick and creamy elbows. But I'm going to get that <clears throat> real cheese, because that was from a block of cheese I shredded. I don't buy the cheese shredded in the stores. It's got funky stuff in it. cheese powder. Give a little coat. Alright, now, you want your cheese mix to be nice and smooth, as smooth as possible, and have that. Oh yeah, look at that. Now we're ready to put our cooked pasta back in with the cheese sauce. Alright, <clears throat> after you put that pasta back in there, you're going to make sure that you stir it well enough so all the cheese is all over the pasta. Yeah. It is. So I'm going to tear it off. And that is how my kids like to eat mac and cheese. Y'all have a great day. Bye.